How's it going everybody? Captain Carrier here. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Brandon. I'm a recreational fisherman and a charter guide here along the Alabama Gulf Coast. As you can see, we're already out here on the water. Actually just got through catching a, a bunch of sheep's head at this rig right here behind me. Unfortunately, it's a beeping rig, so it's very aggravating trying to record and talk and make a video. But uh, we're going to do something really interesting today. I'm, I'm going to continue sheep fishing, but if y'all watched the channel last year, I made a few videos bringing the cane pole out and just ripping some lips on sheep's head in shallow water inshore. So today we have brought the bamboo cane pole out again and we're going to try our luck out here in this deeper water for some, some nice quality big sheep's head. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm going to go to this rig or that rig whichever one that's not beeping and see if we can try our look. I think this is gonna be a really fun episode. So if y'all enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up. And hey, if y'all wanna see some more of this, y'all consider subscribing to the channel. We do fun stuff like this all the time. Let's quit talking. Let's go get on some fish. We have got a gorgeous day today, y'all. Middle of March, Dolphin Island, Alabama. Air temperatures are like 75 degrees. It's nice, very nice. All right, so we have made it to our rig. I think we're in luck. I don't think it's a beeper. Uh, I think I mentioned it in a video before. Generally, if the rig beeps, that usually means it's an unmanned rig. So there's probably somebody on this one, possibly. I don't know. But we're gonna drop the Minco to trolling motor. We're gonna try and get set up. I'll kind of talk about where I'm positioning and why. And uh, hopefully there's some fish here. Let's go ahead and drop the handy dandy Minkota spot lock trolling motor. I did bring my remote today, so that's a good thing. I don't have to fight using my phone. So I think what I'm gonna do, since I'm not using a rod and reel and I will be dropping the cane pole, is I wanna try and get as close as possible to these legs because these sheep's head are gonna be hanging real tight to this structure. So I'm kinda seeing what the current and the wind is doing. I'm thinking my boat's gonna be going this way so i'll probably get right here on this corner that way i can drop right down by that leg thankfully the current is not too bad usually this time of the year out here by these near shore rigs the current is unbearable very strong and i will leave my main engine running at least for the first five minutes just in case the troll motor kind of acts acts up because usually when you get around rigs like this it messes the gps signal on the troll motor and it'll kind of go all crazy I'm just so happy that this rig isn't beeping. I don't know if y'all can hear, but pretty much all of these other rigs in the background are, are beepers. So it's nice to have a little silence because they'll give you a headache after a while. So it looks like the boat's gonna be facing this way. So this should work out really nice for me. Generally, I wanna target the points of all these rigs or the corners, I should say. And these sheep's heads should be higher up in the water column since they're spawning right now. You can catch some on the bottom, but you're also gonna fight red snapper and spade fish and other species. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can see, but they're all along these legs right here. We're, we're fixing to have some fun. So as far as my setup here, I call this my medium heavy or heavy. This is about 12 foot long and it's pretty stout. So I brought this one out here just in case we hook up to some bigger fish. I've got 40 pound monofilament line on there with a one aught gamakatsu hook and a little small weight just to help get it down and we are positioned perfectly right here as long as the boat and the troll motor stays so let's quit talking let's get a crab on here i'm ready to catch some fish on this thing i've never done this out here before but i think there are a few commercial guys that come out here and do this with cane poles so we're going to hook this little mud crab here get it started this is actually perfect because i can sit this crab right in their face the only thing is it's kind of hard feeling the bite that's the only downside of this cane pole Ooh. oh there he is <laughs> first sheep baby <laughs> oh my goodness all right second drop y'all we got us a nice little probably 15 inch sheep's head 
I do already have nine fish in the box. Our legal limit in Alabama is 10 fish, but we're gonna let this guy go. Appreciate it. Let's go right over here again. Pretty much right there where we caught that last one. Honestly, don't think it matters. Oh, oh he's already biting it. He's already on. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> That's a pretty decent one. That's probably an 18 inch fish. I kind of like this. <laughs> a little awkward on the bay boat here, but that's two fish, two drops right there. I'm gonna wait for this thing to calm down just a little bit. I think that'll be our eating fish. And y'all, I am still fishing the Convict Classic Sheep's Head Tournament. That is why I have this measuring board here. And so put him on the board, make sure his nose is touching this end. That is a 19 and a half inch sheep's head. And I'm gonna grab my phone. We're gonna take a picture of them on the board. And we actually might let this one go. This one's a little, little bigger than I like to keep. So if you're wondering why ugly is on my hand, that is the identifier code that you have to have to submit a fish. Thank you for the fight. It's gonna be really interesting if we catch a 20 inch plus fish on, the, on this cane pole here. I do have some nice, nice mud crabs there. If you get some that's you know, pretty big, you can actually break these in half or cut them in quarters and use little chunks if you're trying to save some bait. Let's go ahead and get another one down there. This is actually perfect. You can control that crab going down. Oh, y'all, they're just swimming all over. We're on. We're on. Oh, pulled it. Pulled the hook. That was another good one. Perfect. Already getting a bite. Already getting a bite. I'm gonna let him take it a little longer. He's on. Another good one. Ow! Quit it. I'm gonna let you go. 17 and three quarters. So this will be our keeper fish right here. This is this will make 10 for me. We're gonna go ahead and throw him in the box with the others. So I think I am gonna back away from the rig. We are a little too close for comfort here. Just a little bit. Yo, there's a big one right there on that leg. <laughs> right there right along that leg hopefully he'll see that crab oh he just went to it yep he's eating it he's eating it <clears throat> well that might be why i missed them two fish hooks bent <laughs> let's get these handy dandy sword pliers here and bend this hook back perfect there we go. There he is. There he is. Eat. <laughs> Keep thinking I'm gonna break this cane pole, but it's gonna take a lot of pressure to break this. Another nice fish. We'll probably measure this one for the tournament. Pretty much at this point I need bigger than 18 inches. I've got 50 fish over 18. So let's see what this one goes. Come on, stay calm for me. 19, there's a 19 incher for us. Good looking sheet right there. He's lucky, he gets to go back. Come on, I'm gonna let him eat it a little longer. Chew it. There he is. Oh, that's a decent one. He's decent. <laughs> Come on. Uh, about the same size, I guess. This is awkward. Let's see. Let's bring this tip to us. Oh, he pulled it right at the boat. Oh, well. It's not like we're hurting for fish. 
doesn't get much more fun than cane poling some nice sheep in 50 foot of water by the way it's so hard to, to know when to set the hook there he is oh no don't you go that way <laughs> Y'all, that's, that's a 20 inch fish. <laughs> Hook just pulled. <sighs> that's a hoss. <laughs> Come on, girl. Go 20 for me. Oh, yeah. 20 inch sheep on a cane pole. <laughs> Let's go, baby. I'm going to get a video of the release so we could submit it for the tournament. Thank you. Y'all, if there's something that brings out the kid in me, it's catching fish on a cane pole. Especially 20-inch sheep's head. <laughs> I do think if we hook a big fish, we are more likely to get them in the boat on this setup than a, your traditional rod and reel. Just because of how stout this thing is. Swimming out with it. There he is. Another good fish. Ooh, he's hooked decent, I think. Ooh. <laughs> you gotta remember, we don't have drag. We're just gonna eat him. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, man. They're so strong. Boom. That's another 20 inch fish. Y'all might have to start doing this more often. <laughs> he absolutely bent that hook though. It's a wonder he didn't come off. Man, that fish is so pretty. When the sun hits it just right, you can see the, the purple on their face and all them little gold sparkles. I love it. 21 inch sheep on the cane pole. Hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave. 40 pound test is very nice. It's gonna take a monster sheep's head to break me off in that structure. As long as I can get their head turned this way. Shouldn't it? Oh, oh, already, already getting a bite. There he is. <laughs> okay, that's a smaller one. I say smaller, but you know, it's 15 inch sheep. He's, he's eating it right now. I'm looking at it. Man, that is so cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he bent it. He straightened my hook. We're going to go ahead and swap out hooks. All right, we got us a fresh hook on. Let's see if we can pick out one of them big ones again. There he is. I'm going to try not to spook him. There he is. Mm -hmm. That's a nice, decent one. <sighs> Cane pole for the win. Another 20. 20 and a half. Thank you. Yo, this will wear you out right here. Not having drag. You don't realize how much it helps <laughs> until you don't have it. Come on, there he is. Jeez! <laughs> Had to put that other foot down for that one. <laughs> oh, no. I bet he bent the hook. No, it ain't bent. Come on. I really thoroughly enjoy this. I don't know if y'all can tell. <clears throat> All righty guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Came out here with the cane pole and got it done, y'all. I mean, we probably caught 10, maybe 15 fish or so. I don't know if I'll be able to put them all in this video or else it'd be 30 minutes long, but 
couple big ones too i think three or four over 20 inches multiple yeats and if y'all would like to keep up with where i'm at on the leaderboards for the convict classic tournament y'all can check it out in the link down in the description below and if y'all would like to see any more cane pole videos i'll put some links right up here y'all can go check them out till next time y'all stay safe we'll see you back out on the next one